<sighs> Welcome to Bumble Snout, a really weird looking, weird sounding game. We're just gonna get into it. WC to move, spacebar to jump, E to pick up item or drop, left click to use, mouse wheel to change, steal her eggs, then leave. Beware the eye of the duck. It's very weird. You'll take my word for it for now, until you see. Yeah, okay, so E to pick up, left click to use, but E to also drop. Now you know what I mean, right? Can, can it kill me? Egg. I'm stealing egg. How do I leave? Or do I have to steal them all? Am I... Uh-oh. Um. Well, it's angry. And so... Huh. What is even going on? Oh. Can it see my flashlight, or...? Oh, I can do an extra bright. So I'm on egg. Hang on. So don't go in the light. Hang on. I'm gonna try turning on the flashlight, though. I wanna see if it can see me. I can't drop egg. I wanna see if it can kill me, though. I'm kind of paranoid. Okay, it definitely can see you. I want to get a good look at it though, oh god. Her eggs are safe and you are dead. Alright. Jesus Christ. Um, but yeah, this thing's fucked up looking. It's like this muscular fucking duck thing. I think we should just not pick up... It gets upset if you steal her eggs, you just cannot get spotted. She's like this macho fucking super hyper muscular duck with giant titties. I have to like, get a good shot of her like after I'm done beating the game. Uh oh. How is it seeing me? Oh. Yeah, it's upset. It's gonna get upset at the other one. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, there's the door. I stole all of its eggs. It's really upset. But if I go over there, it's gonna spot me. really upset. Let's get the fuck out of here. Fuck you, duck. Oh, I couldn't even read what the fuck it said. Yeah, let's get a good look at the duck now. Maybe it won't be upset if I don't steal the eggs. It'll, it'll just be a happy, weirdly fucking muscular duck. Like, look at this thing! Weird. Just really fucking weird. Why would they design a duck like this? Anyway, so I'll try that one more just so I can read the message. I'll skip ahead. I'm gonna steal the eggs in reverse. Alright, let's try this again. That was pretty quick. <laughs> I didn't even see the message that time. Weird. Maybe I had to check the recording then, hang on. I, I I didn't see what it said. I know it showed something, but... You escape... It, it goes away way too fast. Only you, If you just pause it at the right time, you only get half the message. You escaped, I can hear her cry, beware the eye of the duck or something. 
it, it's kind of I don't know. There's the end screen message goes away way too fast, and you can't read it. But anyway, that was Bumble Snow. Now you see what the fuck kind of weird ass shit this duck just looks fucking weird. But yeah, that that was the Bumble Snow. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a fuff scrapper, hit the bell notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time. <sighs> Welcome to the Great Nothing. I don't know an indie horror game I found and. I don't know, maybe I could just check the game store page. Why why not? The Great. Yes. The game contains rapidly strobing images, so if you are suffering from epilepsy, I highly recommend you do not play this or watch this video. That's good that's good to get that out of the way. Unravel the story behind a redacted community that that's terrorized the countrymen around since nineteen something. There's nothing to worry about. Step inside. What? Oh God! Sacrifice this universe. Yes. Oh. That that means you want to restart, or I'm going to assume a hitting no uh, restarts the game. Okay. Well, something bad happened. Shift to run, but it alerts ghosts. Okay. There's ghosts in the games. Right click is ghost vision. I was able to see the level from the perspective of the ghost. Oh, okay, so it's like that one older game I played a long time ago. Oh, that's cool. So no running. Oh, it's one of those games though that you walking creates constant tap tap taps. One of those. I mean, it's not even a Unity game. Well, just wait for her. I believe in holy destruction, and for the sake of grace, we will be happy. Ghost vision, but, but running. Like, you can tell the level of detail, the like the, the stretch textures and everything. It's one of those kind of Unity games, but it's not Unity. It's the Goda engine or whatever. I couldn't help but cry of happiness. I wish that all of us would soon experience what they are feeling now. What? Is that Jesus? Ah, oh, these fucking doors. Uh oh. Oh, he's went right, right in the room I went to. Barely crawled to the door of the dormitory. He's emptying the house. Hurts. Feels like I've left half of my insides on the doorsteps while I was crawling back. It hurts. Oh. At least it know I'll know if it's coming towards me because um. Weird. Okay, I'm, that, that door is exactly where it's at, so do not. Where is it going? I guess go is the question. I need to go through this area. Get, go that way. Go forward. Come on. Hey. Hey. Make up your fucking... Uh -huh. Okay, if I go this way... Let's get this out of the way. Spine broke with such an unpleasant crack that I had to cut off the prang and turned away from it. Okay. Wait. No. Well, as long as we keep watch, I don't know, nothing bad should happen. They all have suffered. They have never been happy about it. It's all lies. I'm finished here. I watched them suffer. I could have met... Okay, I'm pretty far away. I hope his blood shall serve us all a lesson. We can't afford ourselves to come out of the shadows, not now. Molider and Logmore? How many more notes do I need? Should basically be done. Mm -hmm. uh oh. And I should think all these alive knots are way too cruel as they continue breathing while well, the legs are already wrong. Please give me strength to believe again. Ah, jeez. That was a little too close. Okay, so if I go here, I'm still in. Hmm. 
Molider and Logmar. Don't even think about it. What? Why do I got all the notes? Can I leave? Is there leaving? Or do I have to go to this person? No? What am I doing then? I do not know now. Might have to check a um uh, the game store page. What direction are you gonna go? Okay, let's see. It doesn't explain. Unravel the story. This says unravel the story. Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. Person's r right. What? Something's not right. The music stopped. Ghost's not following me and the music stopped. I don't want to run because I would be chased. I don't get it. Everything sort of looked like it's duplicating here. Uh oh. I accidentally ran. Oh no. Gotta go in a different position. What? What? Yes. Wow. What happened? They just got angry all of a sudden? Even though I collected all eight fucking notes? Is that just the ending and, and the lack of ending? I don't get it. Or did the game fucking bug out on me? Because they just said, don't think so, or something. And then it stopped playing music, and then I just insta-died. I'm so confused. I'll try it one more time, but if nothing happens, and I just don't fucking know. Wait, what? Oh, sacrificed and said no when I restarted. Wait, what? Well, that's weird. I don't know how the fuck I was spotted, though. I, I was in a different area. Like, the ghost was going after where I was? It didn't make much sense, because I wasn't in the hallway like that. That was really weird. This ghost knows- just knows where I am at all times. Is that why I have to sacrifice the universe? If I hit no, it just knows exactly where I am. Behind you. Behind you. No. Yeah, it keeps saying behind me. If I look- Maybe it's in knows where I am because I look through the ghost vision. So I just don't... Or not. No. Oh. It's fucking with me. Alright, well, looks like it won't let me. Interesting. Alright, well, I'll try it without being fucked over.
welcome my child. So finally get some different ending. I just opened a door that wasn't there before after collecting all the notes. Sacrifice this universe. No. No. So I, I she says, welcome my child, and that's it. I, I, I don't know if there's an actual ending beyond this, unless like as soon as I enter the new world after collecting the notes, if there is a somewhere else I can go afterwards. Because otherwise... Uh, I'm just shrunk the screen, okay. I'm trying to click anywhere to make it so I can possibly... I don't want to sacrifice the world. Yeah, I'll just quit the game and see what happens. <laughs> I'm just that stubborn. No, mm, okay. Just back to the game. Let's leave it here, I guess. I, I get... I Unless... It was just like, I don't know. It's like a door here opens. But, um... I don't know. It's, uh, weird. Oh well. Um, I guess I'll just end- I, I don't know. I, I think there would be more. As soon as you die a certain amount of times, they just say, nope. Anyways. Hmm? I don't know, I'll just leave it here. I, unless I'm told there's a specific way of getting a different ending. Level layout can clearly be told is uh, very flawed. You can tell without the filters and shit. It would just be, you know, stretch textures galore. Um, so level design, it's just a random... It's like something you'd make out of your like very first Sims house. Like, just walls are stretched everywhere. There's no sense or belonging of these rooms. It's not like they were officially rooms. They're just indoor square rooms randomly put together. So there's no architectural sense to it. It's just stretch textures and, you know, what, what's the word I'm looking for? I keep thinking prims from something like Second Life. It's just horizontal prims stretched and given this texture and the same texture there, but you know, you know, it's very squished. Uh, otherwise, I, I'm confused with how to go further if there is any further. Uh, I don't know, but I hope you enjoyed, anyways, for what little spooks maybe it gave you. And if you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a full subscriber, hit the bell notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time. Um.